It's a demonstration on how to use a Bitgardner Ford cup. First, select your cup. There were two, three, or four to provide a test of flux time within the range covered by the attached table at a controlled temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. But for this demonstration purposes, we do not have the controlled temperature. But it is very important to maintain consistent results that you can compare. Okay, first you place the Ford cup in the holder plug the hole at the bottom, pour your liquid in, to the top so it's overflowing, okay. and then you place a glass plate over top. And at the same time, you remove the glass plate on top. You need to start a timer that you stop as soon as the flow has any break in it. So you remove the top, start the timer simultaneously, let it go through the cup. And as soon as you see a break in the stream, you stop the stopwatch. Uh, and record both the efflux time and the type of the Ford cup used, as well as the measure efflux temperature. Um, and that is the demonstration on how to use your Ford cup and what you should be measuring.